This video is going to give you some information about how our content filter works at home for parents. We've never been able to have parents be actively involved in their child's uh, computer usage at home to where it was customized with what the parent wants the child to have access to or not have access to. Uh, as a school district right now we have it very restricted and as a parent you'll be able to open that up and give them more access to say social media or Facebook those kind of things so once we put your we get your email and your permission you will on a Wednesday I believe unless they've changed it you'll get an email at some point that says from securely support at securely com. that's the name of our content filter and what it will do is summarize what your child or I, what your child's been doing at home only on uh, a, a website or a page like this so you can kind of see what they've been doing. This isn't a good example. I'm using my stepdaughter as an example and of course I was logged into her account so I was just testing it out. Uh, this is an email you get every week, a weekly report. Maybe that's all you want to know. You're happy with the way the filtering set up. It's pretty restrictive at home. You're good to go. You just check your email once a week. If you don't like the emails at all, you can just hit the unsubscribe button and you never will see it again. But the idea is, is on that email you'll hit sign up to securely. If you want to decide to open up Facebook, you're going to have to log in and you're going to have control over what your child can do to some extent on the computer. So let me switch over. I'm already logged in uh, or I will be here shortly. This is kind of the page you'll end up with eventually. I'm going to log into the parent portal. That's how you kind of, it'll look like this. The activity, there isn't much activity. Well, because Maddie hasn't been from 818, you can change dates and times. Um, you have some control over that. Flagged will be coming eventually uh, to parents. If there's something inappropriate and those kind of things that are going on, that may pop up here. We don't have that set up currently, but I plan on doing so. The more important piece probably of all this besides the activity is the settings. Right now we have YouTube to set to safety mode which is kind of like the most restrictive. It currently, and maybe they'll have it fixed here pretty soon, even if you turn it on I'm not guaranteeing it's going to work. YouTube I know they were having some trouble and I'm not sure hopefully we'll get that resolved. As you can see here you're not going to be able to control whether the student can get to porn or drugs, gambling or adult content. We've grayed that out, but you do have, if you want them to have access to social media, you can allow it. Chat and messaging uh, and uh, web mail, for example. You can allow all this. The big ones are probably social media, streaming media, games, those kind of things. And so then you hit save, and now M Maddie would, when she logs in her laptop at home, she would have access to uh, streaming media and maybe some social media. You hit save and then it's as soon as it turns green it's taken effect so if your student at your, your your child at home tries to go to that site and let's say it's uh, I'll make up something Netflix if for some reason it's not working which I think it should there are you can also go in and actually you can't allow the only way you can go in is this way uh, you can actually go in and deny content let's say there's something you want to allow them in to social media but not a certain one like facebook.com you can block that there so we we don't allow the allow part as far as parental goes but this categories should get you in control of what's going on with your students laptop uh, so if you have any questions feel free to contact me here at the high school and we'll try to work out any issues as this is brand new as of 2000 and 17th August 25th is when we're starting to roll out the parent piece uh, appreciate your flexibility with this but we think getting students actively involved or parents actively involved with the, what kids do at home is important thanks